That is a spider web. A giant one. It's not giant, it's just thick. At least I think that's a spider web. It is with dust on it. Yeah. It's a spider web that got abandoned by a spider. It's in our kitchen. <laughs> so I use Linux at the house. And there's a couple things I've noticed about Linux. Linux is cool for a lot of reasons. Uh, number one, it doesn't cost anything for normal people to use. The licensing agreements actually say this. Uh, you can use it for your company, you can use it for uh, pretty much whatever you want. If certain distributions have different licensing agreements, so you have to be careful of that, but basically it's free. <clears throat> and it's free not only to just use at home, but you can use it for all kinds of cool shit. So I really like it. <sighs> There's a problem with Linux that is also one of its pluses. Not everybody uses it. Not everybody supports it. That is both a good thing and a bad thing. It is a bad thing because I can't play my Xfinity On Demand stuff on Ubuntu, which is my chosen distribution, because Xfinity demands a very specific version of Flash, and that's all they're going to work with. And Ubuntu does not support that particular version of Flash. It build, they build their own Flash, or they, they get Flash specifically from Adobe or something, because you're never going to get those two to line up. The one, that, the one that Xfinity supports and the one that Ubuntu has in it don't match, and they're never going to match, as far as I can tell. <clears throat> the way it works is Ubuntu and other distributions all have these huge groups of people who, all from all over the world, they check out software, they make sure it's okay, they put it in a dis they, they say this is okay to go in a distribution, and the distribution people come along and they sweep up all these different versions of the software and they, they stick them in the distribution, they call it the next version of, the, of that distribution of Linux. This has been working really well. However, nobody tests everything about uh, any particular piece of software. <clears throat> let's take video let's take video editors as an example because that's one that's particularly pissing me off at the moment. Every single time I, I, I a bunch of updates, Caden Live and OpenShot, which are the two video editors I use, in some way break. They kind of work, they mostly work. But something about them doesn't. And it's different every time. This re most recent update in Caden Live, the transitions stopped working, the fade transition, the, the normal one you use, the dissolve, that's it. The dissolve transition doesn't work. It just doesn't do anything. <clears throat> that, it, it drives me nuts, because I only use one dissolve in my whole video, and that's at the end where I put the copyright notice. I don't use PTV. A lot of people like PTV. That's great. It doesn't integrate text. And I know the other ones don't really integrate it either, but they make it look like it's part of the program. Even though really you're using other programs to make the text, it, it hides that fact. And I really like the fact that it hides it and just uses defaults. And I don't care. I just want to hit say, here's my text. Stick it in here and make it look, make it look good. I, I don't want to have to jack with it. And OpenShot and Caden Live allow you to do this. OpenShot actually allows you to open a 3D rendering package, if you want to, called Blender, and, and really just do a crazy stuff in it. It's awesome. You know what? I don't do that. I don't care. So, I don't do it. I like having the option. <laughs> but, it, but, it, but the little shit breaks. <laughs> just from here to there, just little stuff breaks every time you upgrade. <clears throat> it drives me nuts. And I can't run my, I can't watch my Xfinity videos in Linux. A lot of people use Linux worldwide, but it's not really powerful for the desktop. That's good and bad. The, the good part of that, the fact that, that so few people use it for the desktop, is because people don't write viruses for it. <laughs> and other malware and stuff. Typically, a lot of times, it will not work in Linux. So... <laughs> You use Linux, and you just know that 99.9% .9 of all the malware stuff out there is for is for Windows, uh, occasionally for the Mac, and rarely does it does it do anything in Linux unless it just Linux is so compatible with whatever method that they use to to bring you this malware or virus or whatever that it just happens to work in Linux. <clears throat> but Adobe Flash is the devil, and they need to stop using it altogether.
period. Uh, Adobe, Adobe is evil. And they're just inept. Is the only reason they haven't taken over the world. <sighs> anyway, what was, I, what was my point? Oh, here's what I want on Linux. Okay, this would, this would make me happy on Linux. So right now, when I want to watch my Xfinity, I use my Android phone, which I'm filming on right now. I plop it down next to my laptop, and I, I have video playing on my phone while I'm doing whatever I want to do on Linux, which is like, you know, normal everyday stuff. I also have to pay bills that way in some cases. I can pay some bills. They see a Linux machine. I go to the web page, and they see a Linux machine. They flip out thinking, oh, this has got to be a hacker. So they just don't let you log in. They just don't let you. It just doesn't. It just sees a Linux machine and flips its shit. It does not let you in. <clears throat> so I can go in on my Android phone works fine. Here's what I want. An emulator. There's there's some out there, but they're only for development. I want a Joe user based emulator for Android that runs Android on Linux. <laughs> and just whatever you can do on Android, you can do it on Linux. I'll be happy. And you just plug it into your account and go from there. And that would solve all my compatibility problems, I think, with with Linux. Because people who have the stores, who have the uh, bill paying, they use Android, and they love Android, because so many people have Android phones, but they know it's going to get used. So they dump the time and effort and testing into it, and that sort of thing. That's great. I want it on Linux, because that means it'll also have that amount of testing and that amount of push, that amount of money going into it for Linux. And that'll make me happy, and I can turn it off when I don't want it, turn it on when I do want it, that'll be great. Just the development kits aren't going to work for me. I need something that's dumbed down uh, for idiots like me. Anyway, I guess that's all I had to say.